Good morning, Bex Steve Academy. It is Wednesday, the 10th of June, and I join you this morning live from Mr Hill's classroom. I hope he doesn't mind, so we won't tell him, shall we? Uh, this morning, I'm joined by various colleagues uh, and members of the senior leadership team in Mr Hill's classroom, and I'm going to hand over to him and try something fancy with the camera in a minute. I've got Miss Shallow, who's going to do uh, our daily shout-outs and celebrate all the great work that's been going on in the Academy. And then I'm going to hand over to Mr Nape, who's going to close today's assembly, and I think he's got a fun fact for the day for you. Just a small piece and update from me I know that from my colleagues this week that have led the assemblies they've talked a lot about e-safety and the importance of remaining safe online which is import more important now than ever before as we conduct most of our world online so to speak and, and I guess my tip for the day is thinking about fake news and that's an expression you would have heard an awful lot in the media last year ironically hearing a lot of it online uh, and my, my suggestion to you is if a story seems too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. And do make sure that if you read a news piece online and you think, wow, that sounds fantastic or that sounds amazing or that's slightly unbelievable, always do check it out with a reputable source like a BBC News website or a paper website like The Guardian or The Times just so you can start to fact check for yourself to make sure that information is correct and is reliable. Uh, hope you have a wonderful day and hopefully you start to get a sense of what it might be like when the Academy hopefully sometime soon returns to this virtual world with some students returning to the Academy. I know some information will go out from Mr Napier later this week, specifically to Year 10 students about what that might look like. And I'm just really excited to be back in a classroom today. I'm going to try now, without getting too close to the camera, to spin my camera around so you can see my live class that's in the room as well. And I'm going to hand over to Miss Shallow now. Over to you, Miss, who's got our, our shout outs for today. Over to you, Miss. Thank you, Mr. Sparks. Good morning, all, and welcome to today's assembly. Right, before I started my shout out, I thought I might start off with a small fun fact for today. What is special about the letter E? Think about it. Well, it appears, apparently, it appears 11% um, of um, sentences or phrases in our English dictionary contains the letter E. Sorry about that Tom Twister there. Right, so let's think about um, today's birthday shout out. There's definitely not any E's in that um, phrase. So right, so first birthday shout out for today goes out to um, Wahid in year 11, happy 16th birthday. And then George in year seven, happy 12th birthday, George. And for my, sorry. Farah Mola in year seven, happy 12th birthday as well. Luke in year 10, happy 15th birthday. And Frankie in year 11, happy 16th birthday. Right, there is a couple of E's in teacher shout out. So for today's um, teacher shout out, uh, for Eddie in year 12, and this is coming from Miss Tanda in biology. Miss Tanda is uh, applauding you for your excellent engagement in her lessons, your consistency in doing and completing your checkout. Um, the next shout out is for Reese in year 12 and this is coming from PE and is for your excellent engagement in this week's class. Tabitha in year 10. This is coming from Mr Watson and this is for your great effort and consistency and the last two on my list coming from PE as well is for Tia and George and this is for your great engagement in your PE lessons. Thank you very much. I'll now pass you over to Mr. Napier. And what a pleasure it has been this morning, everyone, to join you from the position in a classroom as a student. And we're very much looking forward to beginning to welcome students back to the Academy from Monday. And we've arranged assembly this morning like this to get a sense of what it's gonna feel like for you as a student. And obviously, um, for Mr. Bryce and for myself and Miss Shallow this morning, Mr. Sparks has been our teacher and we played the part of students in this class. And so for you to get a sense of what this is gonna feel like, uh, we've got Mr. Sparks here in front of us um, and we can see and we can hear him, but Mr. Sparks is also being streamed live online to everyone that's accessing this morning's assembly. Um, or this morning's lesson from home. Um, now to finish our assembly um, this morning, um, we're gonna hand over to Mr. Corbyn. Thank you, Mr. Napier. I just wanna say today I get the job of the fun fact. And my fun fact today, following on from Mr. Watkins who loves the banana uh, fun fact, mine is all about the orange. So a bit like what came first, the 
chicken or the egg, what came first, the actual orange, or did we call it the orange because of its color? Because originally, oranges from the Southeast Asia were a tangerine pomelio hybrid, and they were actually green in color. And in fact, oranges in the warmer regions, such as Vietnam and Thailand, are still green to death through maturity. Uh, I also get to finish off there with the clothes. So all I want to say is make sure that while we are staying safe in self-isolation, we are staying at home. We are washing our hands for 20 seconds, like the NHS guidelines tell us. We are keeping fit and healthy by going out and having some sort of form of exercise. And when you are outside, you are keeping that two meter distance. So thank you everyone and keep safe.